Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is BarkBits, and I am doing a top 10 Disney Toon movies list. I received a request to do a similar list to this, and I am obliging. Um, I'm going to be honest, that I had a total of 15 movies to choose from, so I really wasn't able to weed out that many, as well as Disney Toon Studios is known for doing TV movies and sequels. So... This isn't exactly the cream of the crop of movies that I have to choose from. So just because they're on the top ten doesn't mean they're necessarily good movies. But it doesn't necessarily mean they're bad ones. So here we go. The top ten Disney Toon movies. Number ten, Pooh's Heffalump movie. I remember when I was first requested to see this movie by my friend, and I wasn't really keen on it because my friend is known to be an elephant fan, and so not that I dislike elephants, but that may have been the only reason that she liked it. Upon watching it, it is a very cute movie, especially if you're into Winnie the Pooh and things like that. You know, it's very cute and kind of redoes an old short, only replacing Piglet with Rue. Number 9, Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue. I'm not a huge fan of the Tinkerbell franchise, and um, I'll try to talk more in detail about that later. But when I first heard about the fairy movies that were coming out, this is what I wanted. I wanted more of a story about a girl who believed in fairies and was rewarded for her faith. That is what I wanted. Now, the involvement of Tinkerbell is actually rather unfortunate, but... It otherwise is a pretty decent movie. Number 8, Return to Neverland. Now for a sequel, it's not that bad. There are some scenes that are pretty heartfelt, particularly at the beginning and the end. Uh, the story does actually pull from the original source material a little bit. Uh, the acting isn't that bad, considering they are trying to portray someone who acted about 30 years prior to the movie. But what I don't like, actually, is the animation, portraying Peter Pan as a gymnast rather than a boy who doesn't pertain to the rules of gravity, which is what he is. Number 7, Piglet's Big Movie. If you've ever felt belittled in any way, this movie's the one for you. If you've ever felt unappreciated, especially if you are actually short and can actually literally identify with Piglet. For me, I wasn't really ever short, but I am the youngest in my family, so even I can see some of the things in this movie. And it's very heartfelt and warm for those who feel underappreciated. And, you know, little kids who aren't going to pass up a Winnie the Pooh movie. It's a pretty good one as well. Number six, Bambi 2. Now, I'm going to be honest. When I heard about this, I was very upset because I love Bambi. But upon watching it, the animation is actually really good. Considering that it is going from probably the most beautiful movie ever made, it's not that bad. And that's what I was really worried about, was that the animation wasn't going to be as good. And it isn't as good, but it comes damn close. What I really dislike about the movie is that the music is in no way close to the beautiful orchestral suite of the first movie. Number five, The Tigger Movie. Perfect movie if you just want to lay back and have fun and not really think about it too much. It's uh, actually a really sweet movie because... It's Tigger not, no longer wanting to be the only one, and trying to find his family, and discovering in the process that he already has a family. And it's very touching in a lot of ways, and in fact there are a lot of scenes from this movie that I've seen looped all around the Winnie the Pooh franchise. And I don't follow Winnie the Pooh that much, but there are definitely a lot of scenes from this movie that I see over and over just upon watching some random short. Number four, Recess School's Out. And I'm going to be honest, this is a little bit reflecting of how old I am. The reason I love this movie is because I loved the TV show. It was one of my favorite TV shows of all time. I loved the characters. I loved the premise. I didn't even go to public school. I didn't need to, to understand the humor of it. And Recess School's Out is a good... Uh, rendition of the TV show. If you enjoy the TV show, you'll enjoy the movie. If you didn't enjoy the TV show, you probably won't enjoy the, mo uh, the movie because it is very much the TV show over again with a longer plot. But if you enjoyed the TV show, there's nothing wrong with this movie. Number three, a goofy movie. 
And I'm going to say right now, I don't like this movie. And I'll tell you why. I don't know. The animation is decent. The um, songs are annoyingly catchy. The premise is not only original, but is a great coming-of-age story, and that's when it came to me. So a lot of people in my generation love this movie, and I don't. And I guess I could spend millions of dollars on therapy bills discovering my relationship with my parents that causes me to not like this movie, but uh, really there's no reason for me to not like this movie. It is a fantastic movie. Number two, Tinkerbell. This is the first movie in the fairy franchise, even though I was expecting something a little more like Fairy Rescue. It wasn't that bad, but I'm going to say right now, I am not a fan of the Tinkerbell franchise. Even back when Tinkerbell was kind of like the spokesperson for Disney sluts, I didn't like it, but at least that pertained to her character. What she's become now is some sort of weird Disney princess, and I'd like to know the story of how she became the sweet innocent who'd do anything for her friends to the murderous bitch who's going to kill anyone who gets in her way. But what I liked about this movie is that it used the music of Lorena McKennett, and any movie who uses Lorena McKennett has my respect. Number one, DuckTales the movie Treasure of the Lost Lamp. Now, this again may be a little revealing of how old I am. Uh, I did watch DuckTales as a kid. It was more in the rerun uh, line when I came along to it, but I did watch it, but you don't need to be aware of the TV show to enjoy the movie. I mean, the movie is just fantastic. It's basically Aladdin, but with ducks, which makes it that much more awesome. Uh, it's about this genie who's trying to escape from Doc Brown um, because he forces him to perform wishes he just doesn't want to, and eventually he turns into a real boy. It's a very cookie-cutter Disney premise, but it's still an awesome movie nonetheless. And that's it. So what are my overall suggestions? I'd say definitely watch the movies at the top of this list. Uh, they're really good movies and worth the watch. Is the whole list? Well, maybe and maybe not. I think if someone were to watch the entire list, they may find movies that they do actually really enjoy, or they could not like the movies at all. It's really a coin toss, and I think that they're worth a watch if for no other reason than to figure out how you do feel about them. They're not the worst movies in existence, so you won't be torturing yourself to watch them. So uh, that's about it. So rate, comment, subscribe, do your YouTube thing, and thanks for watching.